Welcome to the studio today, a very special day. As you know, I love to do sessions. Me as a producer in the studio, plus a singer-songwriter, maybe someone playing the guitar or the piano, just working together, coming up with new song ideas. And due to COVID, this wasn't happening for the past one and a half years. I got all of my vocals, just like someone just sent it to me. They did it somewhere on this planet and I then continued working here. Today we'll do something in between. I will actually Skype with a singer songwriter. We'll write a song within a day. And there's a special twist to it. He, he doesn't know about it. His name is actually Robin Wayne. He's the one that worked with me together on the song Save the Day that is now being released on Lost Frequencies label. It's out since a week. I'll link it down below. Go check it out. But he doesn't know that I already wrote lyrics. I, I don't know. I, I woke up one day, like in the morning, and I just like wrote something down into my phone. Just some words, like a, a feeling trying to capture it. And I want him to take it as a basis, work with me together in this session, and hopefully end up with something that resembles something like a song. Let's see what happens. And I got something prepared. <laughs> right. So um, I don't know anything. <laughs> no, you don't know anything. I prepared something. It's like one of these cooking shows. I prepared something for you. So let me actually right. copy paste. I, you know, it's like I, I'm not a singer, not a songwriter, but yeah. I just wrote something down that maybe we could use as a starting point. And if it doesn't okay. work, we won't use it. But maybe, maybe it helps us to speed things a little up. Um, let yeah. me check, where's the chat for Skype? Okay, it's probably too much text. Now basically, I don't know, I woke up and felt really like displaced. <laughs> Mentally yeah. drawn, I don't know, maybe it's COVID. So, um, I don't know, I was imagining like driving down with a car and like in, in a future city that is very dark and very, you know, very like bad and, and no life in it. Right. So it's, it starts like with daily concrete, same routine, like every day waking up, same shit, you know? Yeah. Surrounded by gray machines, artificial air filling my lungs. Is this how it's supposed to be? Um, then I breathe like I'm drowning, which I think is pretty strong as a picture. Yeah, right. Uh, walk like I'm falling. I feel like I'm not here. Is it just me or do we disappear? Again, like getting the listener in there. And yeah. then there's like something that could be a chorus, like this lost and broken, never woken, lost and alone, totally unknown. Um, and then something that could be a second verse. Is that okay. complete bullshit? <laughs> or is that something you can work <laughs> with? Oh, there's a lot I can, we can use, you know, we can build around this, you know? Yes, yes, that was what I was thinking. Like you kind of take this as a basis and correct it. Yeah. Because you're the one that is a pro when it comes to writing and singing because i i just wrote it down it's more a poem than a song because i i can't sing i can't yeah. but before we start maybe let me introduce you a little <laughs> yeah i just wanted to jump right in because i'm excited um so robin vane you live in thailand right yes I, I always wanted to know like why and how you got there because you're actually like you're from europe right right the central europe yeah, I'm from the Netherlands originally, yeah. so I grew up in uh, the Netherlands. Um, but when I was uh, 19, I became a Christian. I became yeah. a follower of uh, Jesus, and that changed really changed my life and also um, my goals in life, what I wanted to do. And when I found out about children in prostitution and children being sold for sex, I just knew I had to do something about that. I just knew I had to fight against that. Yeah. And I, I just packed my bags and I moved to Thailand nine years ago. And I, I work with different kind of uh, organizations and with the child protection police here on location here in Padilla. Yeah. And Padilla is the city where I am. It's really the, the sex city of the world. And under underground where no yeah nobody sees it, but also children are being used um, by pedophiles. Uh, child porn, uh, prostituted, and sold. Yeah. So that's really what, uh, yeah, what I've been fighting against these last nine years, and that's why I am in Thailand. But I also didn't give up on music, because I just, just before I came to Thailand, um, I started to uh, uh, sing 
and record songs with DJs. Yes. But I didn't give up on that. So I, I still do that in the evenings and the night times. Yeah. That's very honorable. Yeah. Like it, it just sure. really, yeah. Like you found out about it and just moved. Like you had this urge to just go and help. Yeah. That's crazy, yeah. man. I just knew I, I, I can't do it. Nothing, you know. Now I know this. This is actually happening. And to actually be able to actually do something and catch these yeah. bastards yes. and uh, give these children a new hope, that's really. Uh, my mission, my passion in this life. Is there any way for, for anyone watching this to like support? Is there like a website where they can maybe donate something? Yes, okay. yes for sure. So yeah, I'll, um, I'll link it down below, but you can also just say it. Yeah. It's antichildtrafficking.com. Okay, I'll put it down below. So if anyone interested to support this cause, support Robin, helping children, freeing them, giving them a chance in life, then donate. Yeah. Big time. I'll also give you some. Let's try and get started, because I, I, I got a couple of, of um, instrumentals, so would it be best to listen to three, four instrumentals, and maybe you pick where you yeah, feel the vibe the most? Yeah. I mean, we can pitch it up, pitch it down. I don't know if I can, yeah. if I just play it, if you can actually hear it properly. Let's see. Yeah, and then just this rhythm is like yep. keeping on yep. there. Nice. Um, yeah, I, I think like this one has has like this dark mood that might actually fit. Um, the next one I think is too too techno. <laughs> yeah. I think so far the first one is better, probably. Yeah, yeah, the first one is way better. In in, in like, in yeah, like yeah. I can write something on that. Yeah, yeah. The the second one is just ah, yeah, it's too dark techno. It's probably better left as an instrumental. Yeah, this one is more like cinematic um, vibe yeah. kind of. I think this one and the first one are like they're yeah, quite like similar as well. Yeah, I could just open up the the session of the fourth and give it more like um, I mean, more, like more build up of, thing. Because that part of the the fourth song could be like a chorus where I just sing lost and broken and like really go like muse kind, you know. Yeah. But then in the first one, I could really like sing more like uh, differently, you know. So it's it's really like a, a contrast. So what usually? Because usually, like when when you go to a session or you you record, probably you record more at home since you're in Thailand. So you usually get like instrumentals uh, to choose from and then top line it, right? Yes, but I also write like my own songs. So yeah, like I write demos, and then um, DJs can pick out like a yeah. demo they like and, and get the top line they like. Um, but also, yeah, I write a lot on instrumentals. Yeah. What kind of arts? Because you had like some. Wasn't there some Armin van Buren stuff and was it you? Yeah, I released yeah. a song. I released a song with Armin van Buren last December. It's called Worlds. Go check That's it out. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Save uh, the Day. They have to check out Save the Day. Just Save the Day. Yeah. It's, it's actually doing really well. Just take that as a basis, and maybe uh, this main send I, I'll lower it in volume because it will compete with you. Yeah. Uh, maybe let's try out like maybe an octave down. I just, yeah, yeah it gives you more room, right? Yeah. I think this is really a good melody for the chorus. Should we start with the chorus? Because I, I usually I have the feeling if the chorus is, is there, the rest is just just doing it. I really have a, I have an uh, I have an idea for the, the chorus with your okay. lyrics actually. Okay. Can you turn the music on and then if I sing, is it synced or is it like <laughs> delayed or something? Probably not. Let Let's try it. Let's give it one try. But like all yeah. the way from time, it's usually never synced. No. 
I, I think you're you're too low, at least on my end, like volume wise. Yeah. But it's probably instrumental too loud. Um, and yeah, it's almost impossible to get it in sync. Let me see. Maybe it's best if I if I bounce it out, send it to you, because if you then sing on top of it, at least both is delayed the same. Oh, lost and broken. Never woke up Lost and broken Never woke up Lost and alone. Okay, I'll send you it on uh, Skype Yeah Very good, man. It's it, it it hits the right right where it should. Yeah. Love that. That was fast. <laughs> well, we're done. <laughs> yeah, perfect. That's it. Let's wrap it up. No, but, no, that's that's good. Like the the yeah, like usually for me, like in these sessions, like hitting the vibe is like the hardest, and yeah. and that's already like there. Um, no, that's cool. Let's just. And the cool thing about this melody, I can also like do a very cool. Uh, second voice under that you know like yeah. A harmony yeah 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 like high harmony and low harmony so i think it, it really fit on this one yeah so i think the, the beginning is to do like lost and broken never woken lost and alone and then i think we need some something else you know for okay. the second the second part like the title could be lost and alone but we, we could keep that third yeah. sentence in the, in the second part as well so raise everything else um, just the first three and pick something else as a fourth and that's it right yeah lost um, and broken never woken Lost and alone, and then something else, and then lost and alone again. So it's really a song, like what you said. What, what, what was the meaning again when you were like uh, wrote it? Like, yeah, I just I just called it like the the this place. That's kind of the word of it. Like feeling not in place, not at the right place. Right. Uh, would you keep up the rhyme, or it, it doesn't it doesn't really matter if you, if it's so like stretched out, right? Oh. Yeah. So uh, my good friend Rhyme Zone. Ah. Every every singer songwriter says rhymezone.com. Yeah. N sponsor, but they uh, <laughs> they give you type in a word and then it gives you all these songs that rhyme, and it's just it's just a great tool for if you want to write songs, you know. Yeah. Just get a word and it clicks and it's like oh yeah that word I want that word. I was thinking about like find a reason but you really can't find it or something like that you know. And then again like lost and alone. Finding a reason, finding a purpose, finding a place. Like a purpose, yeah. Find a purpose, find a purpose. Okay, this way it works, yeah. And then just maybe lost and alone again, or lost and broken, one of those two. Find a purpose. We need something be, uh, after that, like, find a purpose. Da, 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 da. To the surface, like... You're trying to get to the yeah, surface. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, that could work because it's also like referring to the verse again with the breathing, like I'm drowning, like surface yeah. water. You get the picture, like like someone drowning, lost. Oh, lost and broken, never woken, lost and alone, and oh. Find a purpose to the surface, lost and alone. Something like that, you know? Yeah, I think this works. Yeah, okay, I think we've got the chorus now. <laughs> yeah, that was fast. Um, make a way to the pre or the verse, what do you think? Yeah, let's, let's maybe um, do the pre-chorus. I think it's still more okay. important than, than the verses. Because then it's just like we, we got one pre-chorus, one chorus, and two verses, and I think that's that's enough for, for something that is more clobby. It's not just me, but do it, yes, I'm here. Fuck 
Looks like I'm falling. I feel like I'm drowning. Looks like I'm falling. Let me let me give it a listen. Yeah, listen and then. I feel like I'm drowning. Look like I'm falling. It actually works better than I thought. What's your opinion? Make it shorter or keep it? Feel like I'm down and like I'm falling. Feel like I'm not here. Is it just me or do we? I like it. Okay, that's it kind of adds <laughs> to the build up, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I could even like. Since it's right before the drop, I could leave like a gap of one or two or three bars where it just like all fades to yeah. silence and then make it hit. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's going. It's going fast. <laughs> yeah. We'll now just work on the verses. They're not that exciting. Probably change some words, make it happen, and yeah. play to you maybe even like a rough demo kind of half finished song in maybe half an hour. Hour. You're fast, right? Good. I got it up tuned, I got it tuned and processed, so I did it as fast as I could. <laughs> <laughs> that was very fast, but we, we got a demo, right? Like a rough demo? Yeah, yeah it's a demo, but it's it's a, I kind of made it very nice. That's good. I hope. Like a, a, a very clean demo. Daily concrete, same routine, gray machine. That's enough. Like the the only thing bothering me is that the instrumental is the same throughout. But that's oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's now my task to to make it adapt. Yes, there's like enough contrast between the parts, but not too yeah. much because yeah. this kind of music needs to flow a little more. I'm happy. Like everything I use is is from you, but just a little rewritten. Yeah, yeah. Rewritten. It's basically from you. So that's nice. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm proud of myself a little. <laughs> now I just yeah. need to learn to sing. Man, yeah. thanks. This was this was a whole lot of fun. Again, to everyone out there, if you want to support a great cause, I'll link it down below in the description. If you have some spare money, whatever it is, you're helping you. children. How old are they? Like really young, right? Like Oh yeah, like we help kids from two wow. to teenagers. Yeah. yeah. Man, that's like... I don't know if you're up for it, but maybe even if we finish the song and release it, maybe take all of the money we make and put it towards this cause. Is that something oh, yeah. you're into? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, of course, hundred percent. Yeah. I'll I'll give everything yeah. I get, you everything you get, and we can maybe talk oh. with the label. Maybe they're also in to just like everything the yeah. song makes as a plus to to give it towards it. Great. Awesome. Makes yeah. even more fun working on it, knowing that it helps. Right. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Or just, cough. just need to finish it. <laughs> as always, yeah. <laughs> man. Well, that's a good, that's a good. Uh, how do you call it? Motiv motivation. Yes. I'm just thinking about this song, like lost and broken, lost and alone. This is what a child feels, you know. That yeah, is I can, right I can, and I can. Yeah, yeah, 100. percent Like you, the crap right now. So this is really like, like maybe people will find the lyrics to be like, where's the hope? But. There is no hope for that child, you know, and know. the child needs to be rescued. But right now, some children are still in that in that crap and are in are being sold and and used for sex. So this is this this is the song for them. Then, yeah, it's insane, man. That that stuff like this is still happening nowadays. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Kudos to you for for being there, helping. Again, Thank I'll you. I'll also send send you something, and. Thank you, um, yeah. 
Thank you very much for making this happen. And this was a it was a pleasure. So it was, it was a big pleasure. Yes. Thank let's, you. Let's let's keep in touch. See you. Bye bye. See ya. bye. Man, what a, what a what a cool dude! Like, what a like. Whew, it's touching me. Like, it's so honorable. Like going somewhere, giving up your entire life, leaving family and friends behind to go somewhere to help kids. An absolute need. Like, absolute need. If you're if you're able to support in any kind of way, any kind of shape, way, form, whatever. Again, everything linked down below, Robin's socials, Robin's, like, the foundation, like, the, the companies he's working with together to support and help and rescue kids. It's all linked down below in the description. Follow him and maybe one day help out or maybe listen to his music or maybe once it's finished to this song. It kind of fits. It's not what I had in mind writing it, but that's the cool thing about music. You, you make something and everyone sees it in a different light, depending on their position, their like moment and the surrounding of them in life. I love it. I love music. I love that it like brings joy and hope to people. So if you're someone making music, never stop making music. It might help someone in a big way. Thanks a lot for watching. That's it today from the studio. If, if you want to see how the song comes about and, and is being constructed and like things added and maybe eventually a release, then just stay tuned. I'll probably work in one, two or three days again on this and share everything as always. Thanks all for watching. Sign out. <laughs>